Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. As always, guys, I'm your host, Warrior, here today. And, guys, welcome back to a video where I'm going to show you guys a couple things. So, I know we're in a couple months into the life cycle of everybody, the show 22. And I know that I'm new around this community, and I want to make sure that I make some sort of an impact to help everybody out there who is a new player like I am for this year. In this video, we're going to cover mostly just hitting settings and like camera angles and everything else you want to use that help me be successful because I'm not the best player at MLB The Show 22. I am kind of average, but I also get the job done with these settings, and I want to show you guys how I hit and why my approach and what I look for when I'm facing people. But if you are new to the channel and you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button down below as well. Also, join my personal Discord server where you get exclusive access to new and upcoming content as well. I removed my face off the camera because I want to make sure you guys can see my menu and my settings. So my hitting view is Strike Zone. The reason why I use Strike Zone and not like Strike Zone 2 or Zoom, which is like a lot of people use, is because I like to be as close as I can to the actual plate. It allows me to read the pitch a lot easier versus being zoomed out from the action. So I recommend strike zone or you can also do strike zone too. Um, in play view I have on dynamic a lot of people This is basically like whenever you hit the ball and you're what your camera angle is gonna look like when you're in play The reason why I like dynamic is because as a content creator and when I'm playing online ranked seasons or battle royale or co-op whatever it is I like to be able to see the no doubt celebrations because I think that's really really cool and a really big factor of the game and I want to be able to cap which overall you could choose anyone you want you want medium you want high you want a broadcast retro dynamic whichever one you want it is completely up to you I use dynamic because I am a content creator it just makes my life a lot easier compared to other camera angles um hitting interface so I use Zone, which is what 95% of people use because zone is where you get to move your PCI around your plate uh, coverage indicator where you get to actually have a lot better of a chance hitting the ball and making good contact a lot of people use directional because directional basically just allows you to chose where you want to shoot the or where you want to hit the ball you know if you want to focus on inside outside you know just to where to hit the ball easy depending on your timing directional is easy because it's just press a button hold the stick and it's pretty easy um timing I've never used timing um, it is what it says up on the top it says uses a time-based mechanic for hitting and is dependent upon your input type setting buttons or analog never used it I have not heard anybody recommend this so I probably wouldn't use it and then last but not least we have zone use the left stick to aim plus the swing button which obviously you'll use button because input type you want to use button because the fact is that is how you determine your power swing your contact swing your normal swing um, bunding I think everybody just uses buttons to make sure that they can hit the ball well um, PCI center I have diamonds because I feel like uh, diamonds make me see the ball a lot easier versus the dots and plus I don't like the out what are the other setting uh, altitude I do not like the altitude settings because it's the lines I like to have the diamond because they're big enough to where it basically looks like you're hitting the ball square on PCI enter I have none because what my PCI settings is because I have reverb for the outer and I'll show you guys really quick what that will do in a second but what it does is having no PCI enter but having just an outer allows you to feel a lot more confident at the plate with your vision on your PCI because the fact is as you get higher up against higher pitching and also higher difficulties your PCI will get smaller if you have a quote-unquote bigger PCI, which is what this setting does with none and reverb It allows you to feel a lot more confident and allows you to feel like oh I can get to anything with my PCI That's why I have my PCI this way um PCI color. You can have it on any color. I my favorite color is red I really liked red PCI so I have red as my PCI color. Uh, transparency 80% and then obviously PCI fade out none but you don't want your PCI to fade out as the pitch is coming That's just it's not gonna help. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what this PCI looks like in game and also this hitting view as you can see dynamic camera angle you get to see Mike Trout hitting the ball you can also see how this camera angle looks and how the PCI looks this is a, if you copy this exact settings this is what your game will look like and trust me 
Ever since I started using this PCI and these settings, I've become a lot more successful at the plate. I wouldn't have been as good as I have been in some of my clips or some of my streams if I wasn't using this PCI. Quite frankly, this PCI and these settings really saved me when it came to actually trying to be successful at MLB The Show. This is Strike Zone 2. As you can see, a little bit more zoomed out and you get to see a lot more of your player. But overall, I mean, it's a different adjustment compared to Strike Zone 1. I started out playing on Strike Zone 2 and I was not really that successful I was really chasing a lot of pitches in the dirt I wasn't getting to a lot of pitches it just was kind of not fabulous you know it just was kind of it was kind of eh. I'm not gonna lie it wasn't fantastic I really really was not a fan of it at all it was it was it was annoying to have uh, my settings be uh, so interesting when it comes to everything. I was never really successful. Another one that's popular is Strike Zone High. Yeah, Strike Zone High, like it's basically, it, to me, it looks like a hybrid between Strike Zone 1 and Strike Zone 2. I don't think it's too bad of a camera angle. I mean, it looks pretty good. Don't get me wrong. I, I think it's a pretty solid camera angle because it allows me to see the whole strike zone and plus it gives me a little bit more look at my character but it's not so uh zoomed out as other cameras are but one of the big tips that i can give for somebody trying to be a lot better at hitting and try to focus on being successful when it comes to hitting is i want you guys to when you're pitch when you're hitting i want you to always look at the pitcher's like hat so like the bill of his hat that's where you're going to kind of look for the pitch because most people have an over the top arm slot which allows you to which allows you to be successful doing that method because of the fact is you are able to look and see from the hat like what a pitch is coming and I've noticed that's given me a lot more success is looking at the pitcher's hat right as soon as he delivers the ball because it allows you to kind of take that second to get into a rhythm with a delivery plus it gives you somewhere to look because if you're just coming up there just swinging and just trying to make contact with the ball you're not going to be successful like you have to you have to trace this ball. and my last and final tip I want to give everybody before I wrap this video up is use this tool of practice that we're doing you can go into this practice type menu and you can do anything you want you can do a team practice pitching fielding and you know batting as well and you can change the batter you want you can change the pitcher you want like let's go change it to kenley he throws hard we'll give him all of his pitches well you can choose the pitches you want to work on who like what matchup you want to work on and you can work on it with any pitcher like if you you're struggling to see kenley jansen and rank seasons well here you go here's your opportunity to get used to seeing pitching like this or seeing somebody like this you know if you you can choose any team you want and it doesn't matter like what player you're struggling with go ahead and use them like use this tool guys like it's big to use this tool like right there i just struck out so cool i struck out now i gotta go back and re-rack like okay you know i gotta go i gotta pay attention to the slider i gotta pay attention to the cutter I gotta pay attention to the two seam like look at that slider got away i'm ahead 2-0 like you just gotta get used to seeing it and you gotta get used to actually you know facing it and that's how you're going to get better your reps are going to get you better and that's to any baseball player and that's to anybody in life really your reps are important and especially in MLB the show anyway everybody i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button down below hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel and as always guys if you have any questions be sure to reach out and ask them in the comments or as well join the discord server and i do have a channel marked questions and if anybody has any questions or anything you want to talk about be sure to join the discord server as well but as i said in the beginning of the video i am new to the MLB show community and i hope i am welcomed in with open arms i will be streaming every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time on twitch.tv slash voidreaperhd, so be sure to go check me out. Be streaming some MLB The Show content as well as other games and also videos every single Saturday and Monday, so be sure to join that as well. Join the family, hit the subscribe button, and as always, spread joy and positivity, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.